a day in the life of Warren Buffett. Warren Edward Buffett is an American business magnate, investor, and philanthropist. He is currently the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. He is considered one of the most successful investors in the world and has a net worth of over $100.6 billion as of April 2021, making him the world's seventh wealthiest person. He is noted for his adherence to value investing and his personal frugality despite his immense wealth. Looking at this lifestyle, there are a lot of things you can learn so that you can achieve success just like Buffett. Welcome to Streak Savvy Finance, the channel that analyzes the financial strategies of millionaires, billionaires, and financial experts. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you never miss any of our videos. In this video, we will take a look at the life of one of the most successful investors in the 20th and 21st centuries. They say your habits can make you or break you, which means your lifestyle choices can determine whether you end up at the top or not. Buffett not only follows several investments principles, but his lifestyle choices are also tailored for success. Morning routine, the first few minutes of your morning are the most important of your day and can set the tone for positivity and productivity. Have you ever noticed when your morning starts in a frenzy, snoozing your alarm, dragging yourself out of bed at the last minute, skipping breakfast, and rushing yourself out the door? The rest of your day seems to reflect that mood of chaos as well. The tone of your morning will determine the tone of your day, and that's most of the successful people in the world today have an effective morning routine right when they get out of bed to when they leave for work. Warren Buffett is somewhat of an early riser, especially for a man of his age. His day starts at 6, 4 to 5 a.m. after getting at least eight hours of sleep each night. When Buffett gets up in the morning, he doesn't reach for the coffee pot. Instead, the billionaire investor opens the fridge to get an ice-cold can of Coca-Cola. The man claims that around a quarter of his total daily calories come from sweet soda. He drinks around 5 12 us cans per day every day. If that surprises you, then wait till you hear about Buffett's breakfast. The man enjoys dropping into the local McDonald's for his morning meal. But unfortunately, the man is so frugal that he lets the market dictate his appetite, despite being able to buy every McDonald's location in the state. Buffett jokingly said in an interview that when the market is down, he'll opt for the $2.61 breakfast consisting of two sausage patties. However, he'll put them together in one sandwich along with a Coke. He also said that he'd go with a $3.17 bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit when the market is up. Like us, you're probably wondering why Buffett chooses to go with such an unhealthy diet. The investor explains that he looked at actuarial studies and discovered that the lowest death rate was in six-year-olds, so he decided to eat like a six-year-old. If he has the time, Warren likes to get in some exercise in the morning, but we can't find any information about the kind of training the man does to counteract the effects of the McDonald's and Coca-Cola. Work routine. When Buffett arrives to work at the Berkshire Hathaway offices, a majority of his time is spent reading. In fact, he estimates that 80% of his daily work routine is spent on reading materials ranging from financial statements, journals, and business reports, to newspapers and books. Warren Buffett didn't become a billionaire by chance. He has made wise investing choices by playing the long game and by acquiring a vast amount of knowledge. Buffett reportedly spends as much as six hours a day reading books. It may be a daunting prospect for most busy people, but if you're up to the task, the Oracle of Omaha advises that we read 500 pages every day. He says that's how knowledge works. To that end, Buffett has recommended several books that should help young investors climb the ladder of success easily. 1. The Intelligent Investor Only Buffett's words will do the intelligent investor justice. In the preface to the book's fourth edition, Buffett writes, I read the first edition of this book early in 1950, when I was 19. I thought then that it was by far the best book about investing ever written. I still think it is. He points out that sound investment requires no more than the proper intellectual framework for decision making. He concludes that the intelligent investor precisely and clearly prescribes the proper framework. 2. 1,000 Ways to Make $1,000 Buffett credits 1,000 Ways to Make $1,000 a rather obscure gem he found in the school library at the age of 7 with inspiring him to kickstart his career. If you could get past the dated language since the book was written in 1936, there are precious lessons embedded throughout that stand the test of time. 3. The most important thing illuminated. Uncommon sense for the thoughtful investor. Buffett is no stranger to risk, but he does believe there should be a methodology behind it. To help develop that methodology, Buffett recommends Howard Marks' book, The Most Important Thing. Marks, the co-founder and chairman of Oatree Capital Management, the largest investor in distressed securities worldwide, is renowned for his insightful assessments of market opportunity and risk. According to several studies and many more billionaires like Warren Buffett, reading is correlated with improved creativity, better memory, reduced stress, and increased levels of happiness. So if you want to live the life of your dreams, health, love, career, happiness, etc., then follow in the footsteps of the world's most successful people, pick up a book, and start reading. Buffett and Bill Gates' Friendship If you want to be successful, then by all means you should be around successful people. For Warren Buffett, his ties to billionaire Bill Gates brought him more joy and happiness 
as well as success throughout the friendship of over 30 years. Warren Buffett and Bill Gates are very close friends who have partnered in philanthropy, political activism, and online bridge. Their iconic friendship began almost 30 years to the day on 4th of July weekend, 1991. Buffett and Gates met begrudgingly on July 5, 1991 at a gathering planned by Gates' mother, Mary. Although neither one of the men was interested in the get-together, they hit it off when they met. The two were a bit of a mismatch. Gates was a tech nerd and Buffett was an investor who didn't even use email. Buffett asked him why a small company like Microsoft could expect to compete with IBM. However, things quickly changed after their first meeting and the two world's wealthiest men have been fast friends ever since. In fact, when Warren Buffett turned 90 on August 30, 2020, his friend Bill Gates marked the occasion by sharing a video of himself baking an Oreo birthday cake set to the tune of the Randy Newman classic, You've Got a Friend in Me. Hobbies Warren Buffett likes to keep his mind sharp with Bridge, a card game that requires strategy and brain power. Buffett predicts that he plays the game close to 12 hours a week, enough to hone the skill to the point where he can typically beat his billionaire friend Bill Gates. I probably play 100 times as often as Bill, so that probably is the only game in the world where I would have a slight edge with him, Buffett said in an interview. Very slight edge, he added. The longtime friends are still playing at home to this very day. When Buffett isn't busy being the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, he enjoys playing the ukulele. His musical hobby has surprised many audiences. He's played the ukulele on live television, at charity events, and in front of investors. Besides drawing a lot of surprise and a few laughs, Buffett's hobby has likely helped him in other ways as well. Research shows that professionals with hobbies are more satisfied with their jobs and have a lower likelihood of burning out. A study of the National Library of Medicine shows that regular leisure activities help a person manage negative feelings like stress. Hobbies give you an opportunity to enhance your life. They allow you to distress yourself while remaining mentally productive. Having hobbies promotes better health and may lower the risk of having high blood pressure. In fact, enjoying a few hours of your hobby a week can also reduce the risk of depression and dementia. Frugal Lifestyle Unlike some successful people who prefer to splash millions acquiring mansions, luxurious cars, and items, Warren Buffett keeps to the frugal lifestyle even with his immense wealth. In fact, he prefers to donate to those in need. Warren is currently one of the most charitable billionaires in the world and one of the founders of the Giving Pledge alongside Bill and Melinda Gates. As part of the Giving Pledge, the Nebraska-based billionaire investor has pledged to give away most of his fortune. The Giving Pledge started with 40 pledgers in the U.S. and has now grown to 170 pledgers from 21 countries. Buffett has committed to giving away almost all of his wealth by the time he dies. To date, he's donated $37 billion to charity, big purchases. While Buffett might be the most frugal billionaire on the planet, he does spend when the time is right. The Oracle of Omaha is the proud owner of a luxurious private jet only a few have ever been privileged to own. Buffett says that having a private jet makes his life better and easier as he needs to do a considerable amount of traveling as the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. It's also worth noting that when Buffett bought a Bombardier Challenger 600, he named it the Indefensible, due to his past criticisms of such purchases that were made by other corporate CEO. However, and after he started using a private jet for a while, he realized its value as a business tool. Hence, he renamed his aircraft, Indispensable. In fact, to coin a phrase, he liked it so much he bought the company. Sort of. In fact, Berkshire Hathaway owns net jets. Buffett loves football. Just like reading, Warren loves football and is a dedicated fan of Nebraska football. He not only dedicates time to watching the game but also has a contest named the Warren Buffett March Madness Bracket Challenge. The Warren Buffett March Madness Bracket Challenge is an annual contest held by the billionaire where he awards massive cash prizes to anyone who can predict a perfect bracket for the NCAA tournament. Since 2014, Buffett has held a contest among all of his employees, challenging them to guess who the Sweet 16 teams will be during NCAA March Madness. If someone guesses all of the teams correctly, he promises to pay them $1 million every year for the rest of his or her life. Nobody has ever had a perfect March Madness bracket. However, during the 2019 NCAA tournament, Greg Neagle set a record for the most accurate NCAA breaker. Neagle was perfect through the tournament's first fort nine games, and his first loss came during the Sweet 16, when Purdue was able to unseat Tennessee in overtime. The competition has been made open to the public severally, so you do get a chance to get set for life by one of the world's stabbiest billionaires. Buffett enjoys leisure activities. Buffett doesn't just spend all his day reading, investing, and watching football. He actually goes out and engages in exciting activities with the people around him. Buffett, whose holdings include Dairy Queen, treats a group of 12 kids, usually his grandchildren and their friends, to DQ every Sunday. However, the outing is more of a sweet sorrow for Buffett who can barely keep up with the new generation. Watching them, he can't help but notice how glued they are to their iPhones. They barely can talk to me except if I'm ordering ice cream or something like that, he said. Buffett will ask them questions such as what they are doing on them and how, and if they could live without these tech tools. The stickiness really is something. I mean, they do build their lives around it. They love it, he said. 
Sleep routine. Sleep plays a vital role in good health and well-being throughout your life. Getting enough quality sleep at the right times can help protect your mental health, physical health, quality of life, and safety. Warren Buffett knows this, and that's why he keeps to a strict sleeping schedule that gives him enough rest for 8 hours. Final thoughts? Today, everyone knows Warren Buffett as a billionaire, but the sage of Omaha was once a young boy struggling to run a business. Like everybody else, Warren had his share of ups and downs. When he was in high school, Buffett landed a job delivering papers for the Washington Post and today, his company serves as its largest shareholder. He also had to work himself through rejections from Harvard Business School as well as discouragements from his father-in-law who predicted he would fail in his business. However, things all worked out in the end for the investor. When Buffett purchased Berkshire Hathaway, it was a failing textile firm specializing in lining for men's suits. Buffett saw promise, however, noticing price patterns connected to the company's mill closings. Through his leadership, the company was able to grow to a multinational conglomerate. Warren Buffett serves as proof that when a professional has the right goals in place, he can accomplish anything. Through carefully researching his life, professionals can learn lessons that will help them as they build their own businesses and invest their earnings. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, leave a like and be sure to check out the next recommended video.